There we go. And the night game is on. Hey guys, this is Tim. Welcome to another episode of Tim on the Fly. Tonight's going to be the uh, first in a series of videos on uh, night fishing that we're going to call the night game. In this first video, I want to talk to you a little bit about why fish at night, especially fly fishing at night, because it sounds kind of counterintuitive. Um, so we'll cover why that's a good plan, and I'll also cover a couple of things that you can do before you go out that'll make life a little easier, uh, make the experience a little more fun, and usually a lot more productive too. So uh, let's get into it. So why would you want to go fly fishing at night? It's a really good question. I mean, there's a lot of things that you know, you would think would make it a lot more difficult, and they are. But uh, the fact remains that as the days get hotter, going into the summertime, a lot of the species that we think of as being spring fish or fall fish, uh, crappie, white bass, uh, smallmouth bass, a lot of other things, that normally come up in the shallows during the day in the spring and the early spring and the late fall are going to do that same behavior all year round. I mean, they've got to eat. They've got to come in where the food's at. It's just that during the summer, during the heat of the day, they do it at night. They do it in the evening time. Partially because that's when the bait fish come in. Uh, shad, things like that, are still going to be eating the algae and the moss and the stuff baby insects running around on the rocks and things like that they're all going to be after those things they're just going to do it at night when the conditions are a little more favorable the lights lower the which makes the bait fish feel safer which brings them in shallower the predators are going to come after them because they also are concealed by darkness which is going to make the hunting a little easier for them but uh the main thing is is that uh, they're going to come in and that's when they're going to be here so that's when we're going to have to go after them if we want to be really productive all the way through the summer. One more good reason to fish at night besides the fact that that's when the fish are more active in the summertime is that the temperature is going to be a lot nicer it's going to be a lot more comfortable for you as a fisherman you can get out and give yourself an excuse to catch a good sunset it's relaxing it's you know something you can do after work you know in the evenings it's not something you have to have all day to plan and do if you got water close by i'm on a pretty big lake right now but there's no reason you can't night fish on a pond or a smaller lake close to home so you know another good reason not only is it better feeding conditions for the fish but it's much more comfortable fishing conditions for the fishermen so that's the why a couple of things that you can do to uh, make things a little easier for yourself is one, pre-scout your location. Come out during the day, you know, if you're on a camping trip, spend some time in the area that you want to fish during that day, scouting out the area, looking for places that might hold fish, because that's in the dark. If you get down there right at dusk, right at sunset, you're not going to have a whole lot of time to figure it out. And once the, once the sun goes down and the lights go out, you're not going to be able to see where those areas are. You're not going to see as, be able to read as much about the water that you're going to be fishing. So spend some time, you know, walk in the area during the day or get down to the area a couple hours before sunset and scout it out. And you'll have a better chance of isolating where those fish are going to be, where the ambush points might be, where the feeding flats might be, so on and so forth. The other thing you can do is spend a little time casting with your eyes closed. I know that sounds kind of zen, kind of voodoo, but uh, really it'll help. Because, you know, you think about casting as being a matter of rhythm and timing, but you'd be surprised at how much of that rhythm and timing is sight-oriented. You being able to see what your arm is doing, being able to see what the rod's doing, being able to watch the line unfold in front of you. All of that goes away at night. So the best way to practice that is to go out in your yard or uh, go out in the park or someplace like that and practice with your eyes closed. Practice so that you can get to the point where you're feeling the rhythm and timing as opposed to uh, seeing the rhythm and timing because it really does it, it really does make a difference at night things can go wrong with with your cast that you're not really going to know are happening if you don't get that almost instinctive sense of what everything's doing you can get tangled up and you can get leader rigs tangled up things like that you can snag up or break loose from a fish and not realize you don't have a fly anymore that's one thing right there. If the casting starts to feel too easy at night, you check your fly. Chances are it's probably gone. But uh, 
if you can do that, if you practice a little bit in the either in the dark, I mean practice in the dark if it's possible, but if you want to practice during the daytime, spend a little time casting with your eyes closed. Make that uh, make that casting rhythm as instinctive as humanly possible. And you'll find that when you get out to the lake or the river or wherever you're going to be fishing, that's going to come to your aid. And when it gets dark, when the lights go out, then you're going to be able to feel that cast happening. It's going to be a lot more reliable. You're going to have a sense of where you, how you, the pauses in your casting timing are going to relate to the amount of line you have out. You're going to be able to sense how much line you're casting by how that casting stroke feels. Because you're not going to be able to see any of that stuff. So those two things, scout your area in advance, spend a little time practice casting. Those are going to make it a lot easier for you to handle the situation once you get out to the water. So that pretty much does it for some of the prep stuff, kind of does it for why, why we should fish at night. So it's getting to be about that time now. I'm going to go ahead and rig up and uh, we'll talk about gear in the next video.